Is this your chick? You wish though, right, dude? How hot is that chick with your nervous energy? It's never gonna happen. I'd like to foster love, but that just looks uncomfortable. I don't know, dude, try to make a move. You know her, right? She's your buddy. That sucks. Yeah, I don't know. How old are you, sweetie? 18. 18. That's you're dumb. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean this guy's your friend? This guy's creepily hanging out, waiting for you to make a 19-year-old dumb decision. <laughs> and you think he's your friend. You believe that in your heart of hearts. That he's your friend. Yes. yes. So if you were like, hey, we should totally fuck, he'd be like, no way, bud. <laughs> What are you talking about, bro skiff? I don't even look at it like that. Home slice? <laughs> He'd say yes. <laughs> yeah, but he's like, that's, is that a friend, honestly? If he would fuck? Yeah, you have no male friends, exactly right. You said it. I have young girls argue that all the time. A lot of guy-girl roommates in this city. Not fucking, just living together as friend roommates. That's insanity to me. <laughs> that is asinine. To live with a girl you're not fucking. Fellas, if you do that, and I mean this, harsh sentence here, but hear me out. <laughs> Fellas, if you live with a girl you're not fucking, you have no respect for women. <laughs> you have no respect for them. You don't know what you're capable of. Men, we're garbage. And you gotta know what you're capable of. Listen, when men have our, when our balls are full, this is a hackneyed subject at this point, but it's just the facts of life. When our balls are full, we are a different human being than when our balls are empty. Does that make sense at all? So the girl you live with has to be a girl you're fucking or else you're gonna, weird stuff's gonna happen. When our balls get full, we're not the same person as when they're empty. When our balls are empty, that's when we're the person that our parents made. When my balls are empty is when I'm doing everything good in life. I pay my bills, I shoot hoops, I say hi to friends, I high five a lot of people. When your balls are full, that's why guys like jerk off so much. You just gotta like change that state of mind and get back into the world functioning empty balls again. And when our balls are full, we'll do fucked up shit and to live with a girl who's just your friend, like you're gonna fuck that friendship up. I know you will, I would. If I had a girl roommate who I wasn't fucking, two seconds, I'd ruin that. First time she's like, hey, I'm going to my parents' house for the weekend. 20 minutes after she leaves, I'm gonna go smell all of her panties. Then, <laughs> then I'm gonna rub her vibrators on my face while I jerk off with a fist wrapped in her dirty underwear. <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. And don't even waste your time judging me on that. For a few reasons. One, I've never done that. I'm just telling you that's what I would do. And two, there's no reason to judge it because I would judge myself. Do you get it? That's the whole full balls, empty balls thing. The juxtaposition, right? As soon as I was done jerking off in her room, I'd be like, oh my God, what the fuck have I just done? <laughs> This is my friend's end table. What am I doing? <laughs> my buddy. She trusted me and I ruined it. And I would clean up meticulous and I would try to stack the dildos back the way I found them. I'm like, oh my God, I should have took a picture. <laughs> I would turn off the light switch with a tissue and I would step out on my own footprints and I would be appalled at myself judging myself for you. I'm like, how can you do that to your friend? She trusted you around her stuff and she's gone and you ruined it, man. You spoiled the sanctity of your friendship. Well, you know what? She's gone the rest of the weekend. No big deal. I cleaned up. It's over. Never again. Lesson learned. And 30 minutes later, I'll be right back in that room rubbing dildos on my face. <laughs> Just shaking my head in the mirror like, do I know me or do I know me? And I'll clean up meticulous after that time and I'll leave the room again. And every time I'll leave that room believing that I'm never going back in that room again. I'll believe it when I say it, but I'll be jerking off in that room every half hour on the half hour. 
until moments before she comes home. It'll be a race for the clock. When our balls win, we are not to be trusted. We're not your friends. Friendship doesn't have that kind of sexual tension. Real friendship does not have that. My best friend's name is Dave. If Dave called me at 2 a.m. and was like, dude, let me come by and suck your dick, I'd be like, I'm gonna have to say no, Dave. Because we're friends. <laughs> that friendship's real, man. That friendship means something to me. That's real. I know it's real. Because if me and Dave weren't friends, I'd be like, yeah, dude, come over here. I'm a liberal dude. He's a good enough looking guy with soft lips. I bet he sucks a mean dick. But then what happens? What happens then? Dave's sucking my dick. He probably gets a boner. I can't let my boy go home with a boner. Now I have to suck his dick. Now we're sucking each other's dicks and we're not even gay. We're not gay. We're not gay, man. We're not gonna do that for long before we're like, dude, what are we doing, man? Puh, what are we doing here? Let's stop wasting time and start plowing some ass. So I, I'm gonna have to let him fuck me first because I'm the fat chick in this story. So I'm gonna have to lay back with my ankles in the air, knees akimbo while Dave takes these long rhythmic pounds into my shitter. Sweetie, these long rhythmic pounds into my shitter. I thought I lost you for a second. But I'm bigger than Dave, so eventually I'm gonna wanna dominate him. I'm gonna flip Dave over. I'm gonna start tagging him in his knuckly ass and then pull out, shoot a couple ropes of friendship across his butt cheeks and then collapse my tit sweat covered chest across his spiny and rib cagey back. I know, sounds like a great night. Sounds fantastic. But I can't cross that line because we're friends, real friends, right? I gotta think about tomorrow when I wanna hang out and play video games with my friend Dave, but I can't even look him in the eye because I'm still picking his butt hairs out of my pee hole. <laughs> Not worth it. Hey, look, you don't have to laugh at that. I'm happy you even sat through it, honestly. <laughs> that is a really tough one to get through, yeah. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys not walking out on that one. That is tough. Tough to hear, front to back. You know who really hates hearing that joke? My friend Dave. It's his least favorite of all my jokes. Man, that is very vivid. I'm like, right? Just came to me too, dude. I didn't even write it down or nothing.